All right, so I am recording. All right, so now let us have a look at this. All right, so let us start from um, what you call this, um, the beginning, right? So now I know that some stuff that we're going to be doing today, you already understand them. Okay, so what I want us to do now is I want us to do uh, multiplication, just a little bit of multiplication, and then after we're going to do division, right? Especially long division. Okay. okay. So uh, while I'm waiting for my screen to load, um, okay, there we go, it's loading. All right, so what we're gonna do today is what we call multiplication, All right? When we talk about multiplications, we're talking about putting things in groups, isn't it? So if I say, for example, right, so I'm just gonna quickly write uh, multiplication, multiplication, uh, excuse my handwriting, Okay, so if we're talking about multiplication, if I say, for example, right, I have two times three. In other words, what am I saying? I'm saying that I need two groups of three, right? Or three groups of two. You understand? Either I say three, so it's two groups of three, which is three plus three is going to give us six right and also three groups of two so group one that's two plus another one plus another one and then we are going to get six the same one right so when we multiply by a one digit number it's easy for us to do multiplications right but if we take like maybe a two digit number and multiply it by a two digit number it's kind of hard to actually multiply it from there isn't it so therefore we use what you call the column method that column method, you can also use it for um, when you multiply by a one digit number, right? If I say, for example, right, if I say five times four, that one, basically, you know what it is because these are small numbers, isn't it? So we know that it's going to give us 20, right? But what if I say now, going to the third one, right? What if I say 548, right, multiply by three? Are you able to tell me the number from here? No, it's going to be difficult, isn't it? But what do you then do? Obviously, you're going to use the column method, right? Column method, right? What is the column method? I'm going to show you, right? So the column by column method we're talking about. Now, I'm going to put them in um, rows, right? So it's 548. Right, as we know that the last number is always the unit, right? And then we have the tens and then we have the hundreds, right? So obviously when I write it down, I need to match the, the place values, the place, um, yes, values, right? So which means I'm gonna put three under the eight, which is a, um, what you call this, a unit, right? Then I start to multiply, right? So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna say three times eight. What is three times eight? 24. It's 24, right? So I'm going to put 4, and then I'm going to put the 2, right? So now, what do I do with that 2? Do I multiply it, or do I add it? You add. I add, right. Then otherwise, I'm going to say 4 times 3. What's 4 times 3 going to give me? 4 times 3? 12. It's 12. And then I'm going to say plus 2 is going to give me 14. 14. Right. But would I, be, would I be right if I say 2 plus 4 and then I multiply by 3? Mm, no. No, I first multiply and then I add, right? So I get 14, and then from there I'm going to carry the 1 by the 5. So now I'm going to say 5 times 3 is going to be? 15. 15. 15 plus 1, which is going to be? 16. 16. So which means that our answer is 1,644. Right. So then now, when we multiply by two-digit numbers, it becomes a, di a different story, right? So for example, so this was number three, so we go to number four, right? If I say, for example, I need to know what uh, 526, right, multiply by 25 is, 
right? What are you going to do? You must remember that numbers are made of place values, right? By place values, I'm talking about um, the units, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands, right? You're very familiar with that, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 526, right? And then I'm going to multiply by 25. I need to match the place values. Do you understand what I'm saying, right? So you'll see that now I'm taking 526 and I multiply it by 25, right so what does that mean so since since i'm gonna multiply by uh what you call this by 25 then that means i'm gonna look at my second number my second number it has only two place values right which is the units and the tens right my unit is the five and the tens is the two right so what am i gonna do looking at the first one obviously looking at the units now i'm just gonna say multiply them the various um, same way I multiply the previous one, right? Which means I'm going to say 6 multiplied by 5. What 6 times 5 going to give me? 30. It's going to give me 30, right? I'm going to put the 3 there. I mean the 0, and then I'm going to put the 3. Must remember, I need to multiply all of them by 5, by the unit, before I can multiply them by the tens, right? By the tens, I'm talking about the 2, right? So now what am I going to do? I'm going to say, oh, okay, now going to the next one, 2 times 5. What's 2 times 5 going to give me? 10. It's going to give me 10, right? And then plus 3 is going to give me? Uh, 13. 13, right? And then I'm going to carry the 1, right? So I'm going to say 5 times 3 is? I mean, sorry, 5 times 5 is? 25. 25 plus 1, which is? 26. 26, right? So now you must remember that we are going, now we're going to the tens, right? What does that mean? I'm going to cross these numbers out for now. You must remember I'm done with them for now, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So then now I'm going to check, right? I'm going to the tens. Obviously, the tens place, 10 has only one zero, right? So because I'm going to the tens, I'm going to start with a zero. You get what I'm saying? Right, because any number, yeah. why do I start with the zero? Because I know that whatever number that I'm going to get, if I multiply it by 10, it's just a matter of um, um, adding a zero to that number. Right, when you multiply a number by by 100, what do you do? How many zeros do you add to that number? Two. Two. By 1,000, how many? Three. Three, and so forth, right? They are depending on how many zeros we have on that number that starts with the one, okay? So then now, let's multiply. Six times two is? Um, twelve. It's twelve, right? I'm going to carry the one there by two. Right, and then I'm going to say 2 times 2 is? 4. 4 plus 1 is? 5. 5, right? And then the next one is? Uh, there's nothing to carry, so it's 5 times 2. What's 5 times 2? 10. It's 10, right? So can you see that I'm matching the place values of these numbers? Right, you see the first one matches with the thingy. Right, so then I'm going to say 0. After that, I'm going to add them, right? So which means that? This number here, 2630, right? How did I get it? 2630, I got it from 526, right? Times 5. You understand? Yeah. Right? And then this one here at the bottom, what did I get it from? 526 times 20. Do you get it? Because 25 is made by, it's made from 20 plus 5. So these are 20 and 5. I multiplied by them. You get what I'm saying? Right. So after I add them, right, what am I going to get? Now I'm going to say, oh, adding them, I'm going to say 0 plus 0, which is 0, isn't it? 0. And then 3 plus 2 is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 5. 5, right? And then 6 plus 5 is? Somebody lost the numbers over the holidays. Uh, <laughs> Somebody lost the numbers see, over the holidays. It's 11, right? So that means I'm going to write 1, and I'm going to go carry the 1, right? And I'm going to say 1 plus 2, which is? 3. It's 3, right? And then I have the, nothing to add with that 1, and then that's the thing. So that's the answer there. What is that number in words?
Um, 10,000. No, I'm talking about the um, bottom one. The final answer. Oh. This is the final answer. 13,000. Mm -hmm. And 150. Yeah, it's actually 13,150. Must remember, you put the commas until the only end you put it when you go to the tens like for example you would say for example four million three hundred twenty six thousand yeah. you see if you really listen i'm putting the commas i'm saying four million that's the million part four hundred twenty six thousand that's the thousand part right and then i'm gonna say five hundred and twenty six that's the last part 26 is the tens so i put the end before the tens okay so now given these um examples right um can you quickly copy them down because i want to give you something related to this Yeah, okay awesome all right so let's have a look at, at, at the exercise right so if i say now for example just a quick exercise right x i hope i still get the spelling right right okay exercise right so i'm just gonna say um calculate right calculate <coughs> Right, and then I'm gonna say, 
um one uh two three just three sums okay two three right so for the first one i'm gonna say um two zero eight multiply by um eight All right the second one i'm gonna say five four three multiply by um okay 543 i think i already gave it to you so let's make it uh, more interesting let's say maybe 545 and let me just write my four um properly right there you go 545 you can start with the first one okay uh multiply by um 37 all right and then uh, a challenge i'm gonna say 674 multiply by uh, 428 <laughs> Okay, there we go.
did you did you do all the the sums yeah all right awesome let's mark the first one what did you get from the first one what did you get as the um, answer for, for the first one one thousand one thousand two hundred and sixty-four. One thousand two hundred and sixty-four. Is that the one? The one hundred. One thousand six hundred and sixty. Oh, six hundred and sixty-four, like that. Like that. Yeah. All right. Also, let's calculate eight times eight. Obviously, it's going to give us four. Yeah. Right, and then we carry the six. And then zero times eight is yeah. What zero times eight? Zero times eight. What? Zero times eight. Anything multiplied by zero is. A month late? Monthly? Monthly, are you there? It's zero. It's zero. So plus six, that's going to give me six, right? And then two times eight, which is 16, which means that you got it right, right? So there's a mark for you. And then we go to the next one. What did you get for yes. the next? What did you get for the next one? Yeah. Yeah. Um, twenty thousand mm -hmm. one hundred sixty-five. Twenty thousand one hundred sixty-five. All right. Let's have a look at it. So obviously you're gonna say five times seven, which is thirty-five, right? Put the five there, and then you're gonna yeah. put the three, and then four times seven is going to give us twenty-eight. Twenty-eight plus three is thirty-one. Right, carry the three, and then five times seven again is 35, and 35 plus three, that's going to give us 38, right? And then yes. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Right, so I'm gonna say, cancel these ones here. So I'm gonna say five times three. So you must remember, I start with a zero since three is the, um, it's the tens, it's in the tens place, right? So five times three, which is going to give me 15, right? I'm gonna carry the one, and then four times three is 12, 12 plus one is 13, right? And then I'm gonna bring the, uh, um, what you call this? Carry the one there, five times three, what's five times three? It's 15, yeah. 15 plus one, it's 16, right? So I do that. So therefore, what am I gonna do? I'm going to add, right? So when I add, I'm going to get five plus zero, which is five, right? One plus five is six, isn't it? Eight plus three is 11, carry the one. And then here you're gonna have six plus three, which is nine plus one, which is yeah. four. And then you carry the one, not four, sorry, it's zero. <laughs> you're letting me write the wrong stuff. And remember, it's 10, right? Because that's going to be 0, and then that's going to be 2. That means you got the answer correct. Right. <laughs> so let's look at the, let's look at the, uh, the last one. Right, the last one was um, a challenge that I was given to you, right? Of which I do believe that you got it right as well. What is the answer for this one? What did you get? Um, 